Good morning, Year 6. I hope you are all safe and well and had a lovely weekend. Um, I'm talking to you this morning about the work that I'd like you to do this week, um, especially today. I'm going to do a video every morning for you um, so that I can go through what I'd like you to do. You can already see that we've got a new learning platform, um, which I think is really exciting. And um, it shows you bit by bit what I'd like you to do. Um, so as always, um, I'd like us to start with our morning activity sheet because I know how much you all enjoy that. So if you could collect and um, complete the maths and the SPAG and the word of the day. So if you'd like to write a sentence opener, a sentence, or any, even if you'd like to write part of your story like you do in class and send your ideas in to me because I always enjoy so much listening to how you incorporate the word of the day into your wonderful imaginative writing. Now, um, for maths, I've kept it exactly like we do it in class, except we'll be using the video tutorial um, to help explain the concepts. We're revising from Monday to Thursday a couple of topics that you already, have already done in year five. Um, we're starting today with common factors. Now, if you remember, before half term, um, we looked at factor pairs. So factors and numbers that will divide into a number. So common factors are factors that will go into two or more numbers. But once you watch the, what, once you watch the tutorial, you'll be able to see quite clearly what, what, what they'd like you to do. And if you could complete the first sheet, like we always do in class, and have a go at the challenge if you want to. But please don't worry. If you're struggling, don't push yourself. I've included the answers like we do in class as well. So if you'd like to mark your work, but remember, if you need anything at all, you can email me and um, I'll help you or I'll go over with you next week when we're back in school. For English, I've decided that we're going to take a break from Christmas Carol because I want to be able to teach that to you next week and we'll pick up on our Scrooge character descriptions that we were going to start um, this week. What I've done instead is I've found a fantastic piece of work on gadgets and um, oh, there's some exciting activities for you to complete in there. So today I'd like you to look at activity one and in activity one there's um, some things about cracking a code. So you're going to be a spy and you're going to crack a code and um, creating a spy name and looking at a piece of persuasive text and looking at the synonyms in the persuasive text. Now a synonym is a word that means this has the same meaning and it's looking for you to do a definition as well. So um, have a little look at that and there's a list of words I'd like you to find synonyms for. I've also included some reading activities and um, some punctuation and grammar activities um, on different PowerPoints. So if you'd like to have a go at one or two of those as well, that would be fantastic. But yet again, please don't worry. If you can't do it all, just do what you can. That's all I'd expect from you. Now, in um, this afternoon's lessons, we are going to be doing RE and we're going to be continuing on the topic of the people of God. And we're going to be looking at a story about Cain and Abel. And the reason why that we're looking at this is because we're going to be looking at different emotions and how we can overcome these in order to get along with others. So I've put some activities on that PowerPoint as well. So I'm really hoping year six that you have a lovely day and you enjoy all of the work that I've set for you. I'm going to today also phone home as well to see how you're getting on. So if you've got any questions that you want to ask me, please feel free to ask me. I'd like to have a chat with you if I possibly could. And if, if that's not possible, send me an email if there's anything you want to ask or send in any work that you've done so that I can have a look at it. I know that we're not face to face in the classroom, but I'm here and I'm available to help you as much as possible. All right, so have a great day and I'll talk to you again tomorrow morning. Take care, Year 6. Bye-bye.